Hey friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make these cool anchors made out of copper wire. So let's get started with the materials and tools. Okay friends, so we're going to need 14 gauge copper wire, 16 gauge copper wire, 24 gauge, 26. As for tools, we're going to need a small file, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, any kind of round nose pliers. Also, if you can get a flat nose pliers, something like this. Also, you can use tape measure or a small ruler. Um, if you can get a hand drill, cordless drill, that would be amazing because you might need it too. Might be helpful to have a Sharpie around to mark some of our measurements. So just get a Sharpie and uh, it, will it will be helpful to have one around too. So before we continue, I would like to invite everybody to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video, and don't forget to check out the thanks button if you would like to support this channel. Uh, that's uh, uh, something that I just added to my YouTube channel and it's deeply appreciated when somebody is generous enough to contribute uh, to help us keep making more tutorials. So let's get started. So I went ahead and cut about 10 inches of the 16 gauge wire and what I need to do is straighten this wire because as you can see it's not straight at all so we need to make sure this wire is straight so I'm gonna attach it to my drill I'm going to grab the tip of it and start twisting it So what this does is just makes our wire perfectly straight. So that's the reason you need that drill, but if you have a different way to make this wire straight, then maybe you don't need the drill. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure about five inches, which is half of it. I'm going to use my round nose pliers place them there and make a loop just like that next I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and carefully bend the two ends straight down like that and you see how it was kind of looking like creaking that way? You can fix that by just making sure that this loop looks straight. And here's what I'm going to use my flat nose pliers. And the only reason you need this one is so you can make the same exact bend on each wire. So I'm going to place them right here, really close to the loop. And I'm going to Bend these wires in a 90 degree angle, like that. Then I'm going to place my pliers right here, very close to where the bend was, and I'm going to bend this one up, and I will be doing the same with this one. So these pliers help you so you don't have to measure the distance so they are exactly the same just like that next step is make a loop just like this one on each side so i'm going to use my needle nose pliers like that and then do the same with this one Okay, 
There you go. If you notice that this one is a little bigger, just make sure there's about the same size as the other one. This is what we need. Just to look like that. Next step, it's uh, stretch these wires right back to the center. And what I'm going to do is once I push it that way, I'm going to place my pliers right here and I'm going to bend it straight down. It kind of looks like a sword, like that. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to place my pliers here. Like that. And then, this is a very important step. So if you take your time, maybe you want to practice this with a smaller gauge wire please first. There you go. Something like that. So what we are trying to achieve is a symmetrical um, shape something like that okay so next i'm going to measure about an inch it's about right there you can mark it with a sharpie or something i'm just going to use my fingernails i use my needle nose pliers like that place them right there and I'm going to separate these two wires. Like that. I will do the same thing with this one. Like open them in like a 90 degree angle again. There. Okay, next step is I'm going to mark with my Sharpie about three quarters of an inch or two centimeters. If you want to measure with centimeters, it might be a little bit easier. There you go. I'm going to mark the other side too. All right, as you can see, I got both sides marked. So I'm going to start on this side, place my pliers right where the mark is, and I'm going to bend it in in an angle like that and I'm going to do the same thing with this one place my pliers on that mark and bend it in like that now as you can see this angle is a little more closed more sharp than this one so I'm going to uh, push this one in a little bit we want this to be as close as possible on each side very symmetrical okay next with the tip of my pliers i'm gonna place it right here and i'm gonna bend in i'm gonna do the same with the opposite side like that and then next I'm gonna place my pliers right here where I made the, the, the bend and I'm gonna push it down to form that shape there you go and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side There you go. Next, I'm going to bend this into like a semi-circle, just by grabbing the tip and gently, do not push too much, do not push too hard, just gently. And you can use your fingers to make it into like a round shape. We don't want those sharp turns you can use your pliers to kind of make it look like it's turning 
Like I had this sharp pen here, I don't want that. You can always come back and fix it. Something like that. The main idea is that we want a symmetrical piece on both sides, as close as you can. It's not going to be always perfect, but we will try to cover the mistakes later once we are done building the shape. Okay, so next I'm going to push these two wires in. And like I said, if you find it difficult with the 16 gauge wire, maybe use a uh, 18 gauge. I liked it 16 because it's sturdy enough, but if you are practicing, this is hard for you. With the 16 gauge because it's a thick wire you can start with the 18. so as you can see this is what i need so far this is what i have and now we're going to continue the process you can adjust anything that you think it's it seems off here before you continue so that way we will we will have to fix it at the end Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these both wires. Just put a point of reference when I'm going to do the next bend. And that's where they both meet in the center. So that's where I want to make a bend. So I'm going to use my pliers here. And I'm going to bend it down. I'm gonna find the other mark, put the pliers there and push now with my fingers, just like that. And there you go. So here's where we're gonna take our 26, 26 gauge wire, and I'm gonna start filling up this gap. And for, for that, I'm gonna start wrapping my wire I'm gonna wrap it around this thing here a couple times. And now look, I'm going through the center of these wires. They are open, so it's easy to come in and out like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under and then over this wire and then under one time. And the second time, I'm going to go under again. Then I'm going to go over this wire here. One. Two. And then I'm going to go over this one. I'll wrap it twice. One. And two. And then I will go back this top wire here one and two and this is a process that's going to be repetitive until we get to this part so every time you go over this wire you wrap it twice and on the second time you jump to the one over here and then wrap it twice one and then go back to this one I hope that's not too complicated to understand you can use another weaving technique here if you want to if you know a different one but I like this one so I'm gonna go one two then jump to the other wire one two and so on so I'm going to continue doing this until I get almost to this point here okay as you can see I'm almost to the end I'm just going to do maybe one more wrap and that's that so I'm going to 
cut this wire off and this one too but before i cut this one off i'm gonna pull really tight so it's not loose and we will fix these wires these sticking out wires later for now i'm just i just want it not to be on the way and i'm going to do the same thing on this side so i'm not gonna do it's just uh turn the anchor like this and i'm gonna start doing exactly the same thing i'm gonna wrap a wire a couple times here just to secure it and i'm gonna start the whole thing again so i'm going to skip that part of the video just to save some time and I'll come back when I'm like almost down here. Okay friends, so I got to the end. This is what it's supposed to look like. If you guys have got to this point, let me tell you that the hardest part of this project is over. So everything else is gonna be a little bit easier from now on. So what I'm gonna do with this leftover wires, I'm just going to wrap around it, around these two wires, like three times just to make sure that they don't move too much. And I'm going to cut this wire off right here. I'm also going to get rid of this one, this exit wire, just to make sure that it's tight. And here we go, now we're gonna do the next step. Okay, so now I have my 24 gauge wire and all I'm going to do I'm gonna put it right there, right through that too, just to make sure it doesn't move. And now I'm just gonna wrap my wire around the anchor. To make sure that it's as tight as possible. Once I get to here, all I do is go from behind and just continue going that way. So I'm gonna Stop the video to save some time again and I'll show you when I got to this point. Okay, so I'm almost to the end. Once you get here, you kind of have to go over the two points of your anchor. So I'm just showing you that it's normal and that you just continue doing the same thing. Make sure it's very tight. There's not a lot of gaps in between the wires, just like that. And once you get here, I'm just gonna make it go through here. Pull tight on it. And just get rid of the excess again. And I'm also gonna get rid of this one. So I'm gonna do is just snip it off. Tuck that wire in so it's not sticking out too much. And next. We're just going to do the same thing, but across these two right here. So this is should be super simple and self-explanatory. So I'm just going to come back when I'm done. So here we are. So I'm gonna do is always snip off these excess wires and make sure they are tucked in. They don't stick out. We will fix We'll fix them at the end if they're sticking out too much. But this is what we got so far. It's coming along good. Now what I have here is two pieces of the 24 gauge wire and each piece is a foot long. Okay, so it's two pieces, 24 gauge, a foot long, and I'm going to gently fold them in half like this. Next, what I'm going to do and so I'm going to make these two ends go through that little circle thing there. And it has to look like this. Just kind of secure it there so it won't come off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my drill back. And I'm going to stick all the ends into the drill. Close the drill, secure them really good. Make sure they are tight. See, there's one wire sticking out there that's not okay. So 
we want all the wires together. We don't want any wires to come out or dip. So we're gonna redo it. There you go now. They all seem to be pretty secure there. So I'm going to grab this end and slowly start spinning my drill. Don't pull too much, but don't leave it loose either. So it's just a very gentle pull just to keep it straight and a slow twisting of your drill. Don't go crazy on it. Take your time. And there you go. Now we got this done. So this is going to be the rope that goes around our anchor. Okay, so now I just got to decide which side of my anchor I'm going to use for the front. If it's this side, I like, I think it's both look almost the same, but I like this part of it better for some reason. So I'm going to put this rope wire on the left side of this um, ring here, and I'm going to gently go over it like this. Gently. You don't want to put too much force on it. I'm going to wrap it around it a couple times. Like that. So we want to start here. Go from the back, then around, then from the back and around again. Now, when it comes back from this side, I'm going to bring it back to the front like this. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now you see this ends, I'm going to cut them off. And you should have about two inches of wire left. From here to the end of the wire, it's a little bit over two inches, which is great. So now what you're gonna do is take your pliers and bend in, make a bend here in about a 90 degree angle. That's about half an inch, like that. And then you're gonna take your middle nose pliers. And you're gonna start rolling it into a circle like that. Okay, then we are taking our regular pliers and continue doing the same thing, just rolling it into a circle until we get almost to the where the wire ends right there. Now this tip here, we're gonna make it go through that gap in there and push it in like that. Okay, now all I'm doing is just adjusting it a little bit to make sure it's centered. And that's where I want it to stay. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now this wire that's sticking out here, all I'm gonna do is make a bend on it and wrap it around this wire here to secure it so it doesn't come out. So just gently bend it like that. And if you have wires sticking out, just tuck them in. We just don't want any wires sticking out on the back of our uh, anchor because they can, they can hurt the skin. So something like that. So once you make sure that there's no end sticking out or touching the skin, then you are fine. We can go through, the, through it with the file later and make sure that there's no rough ends or points sticking out. This is what it should look like. So now, so now what I'm going to do is these wires too are a little too long. So I'm going to snip off this one here, which is on the back. Okay. And all I'm going to do is just gently fold it back, 
makes you sure that the cone is sticking is not sticking out and that is pointing in so you doesn't touch the skin something like that and this wire here i'm going to cut it almost to where the wires are there so very close to it but not so much like that and here's where i'm going to use my file to round it off it might take you a minute or two to do this but you can use your file to make sure that the ends are not sharp okay now i'm happy with what it feels like it doesn't feel like super rough but it never hurts to do it a little more and if you think it's too too much sticking out we'll cut it again now what i have here is a split ring that i made with the 14 gauge wire uh, i used one of my tools i'm going to show you what i used to cut them with but you can also do it with um, wire cutters it's just so much difficult with this tool but you can still do it so i'm going to make another video separate to show you how to make these rings using this tool but for now um, i'm just going to use this split ring and stick it in here and i'm just going to gently close it make sure that the the ends are paired up that they are like almost as flat as possible with each other something like that there you go and we're done guys this is it pretty cool little anchor um i did went ahead and you know just uh if there is some tool marks because it will always have tool marks you can just use your file to kind of smooth them out and what you can do is use your fingers to feel for any points sticking out or any sharp wires sticking out especially on the back but if there's there's one here that i can feel it so all i do is just use my my file to file it down or tuck it in with your pliers and uh, that's pretty much it just go around and find any tool marks and smooth them out i will do that after i'm done with the video but this is pretty much it so i thank you for your attention and please don't forget to like this video and share it um subscribe to the channel click on the bell to get notifications and if you are uh, generous enough uh, don't forget to check out the thanks button to support this channel so we can keep making tutorials like this and that's pretty much it i will see you next time thank you so much